Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the new Skoda Enyaq IV80. This is the launch package, the, the full option car that uh, it's already on the market, at least here in Switzerland. You can already buy it today. And in this video, I will do the test drive guys for you. I did another test drive on my channel, but I feel like I do it a little bit uh, faster. I didn't have time to, to check out the consumption. I didn't have time to, to really feel how is to drive this electric Enyaq. And in this video, uh, I will give you my feedback on how is to drive. I will test drive it. And also I will try to give you all the technical detail and information if you are on the market for an electric SUV. Because to be honest, this is one of my favorite electric SUV on the market today. It's beautiful. It's big. It has a lot of great quality material in the interior. I have already made the review. If you want to see it, check out on my channel the review. It's already there. A lot of space, the storage space, the practicality. It's gorgeous. Space, technology. It's amazing. I mean, I love this car. Also, even the multimedia system. I have another review with it uh, on my channel. Just check it out. In this video, yeah, as I said, uh, we will talk a little bit about the driving and uh, stuff like that. Now, let me show you the car a little bit to the exterior and let me talk a little bit about a few things here and there. By the way, if you are in Switzerland, guys, I will leave the link in the description to the Gauci garage uh, here in Lisak. You can check out the price, you can test drive, you can see the car. I really recommend you to come and test drive this car because it's gorgeous. You will have the link in the description. Now, the basis price, at least here in Switzerland, the starting price is 47,590 francs. This is the starting price. But with the launch package, 13,770. Uh, then you have also design selection, extra 1,600. Then you have the cable that you have to pay extra 11 kilowatt. And then you have the, the color, the pearl effect color. It's 860. You can see the price right there. The final price for this car will be around 63,230 francs, brand new. But this car right here that I already uh, tested and reviewed it, guys, it has around 3,000 kilometers or 5,000 kilometers, and it has already a 4,000 francs discount. So pretty nice price, pretty good price for a full option ENIAC. You can charge it at a fast charging station um, in DC with maximum 125 uh, kilowatt hour. Also, you can charge it at home, but you will need uh, maybe 15 hours at the normal socket. Other than that, beautiful shape. I love the roof spoiler. I love the lines of the car, the chrome design around the windows, uh, tinted windows. Also, the car come with these beautiful rims, special for electric cars. If you look from this angle, they look gorgeous, 21 inch, incredible nice. And they look a little bit the same as on the e-tron SUV. If you see it uh, on my channel, the review in the back, keep in mind that it has drum brakes. Uh, Volkswagen and also Volkswagen Group and Skoda claim that those drum brakes probably you will have to never service them but yeah we will see about that in the front the car come with brake discs ventilated brake discs huge brake discs other than that guys beautiful shape beautiful design full LED light these LED lights they are special for Skoda crystal lightning you can see it also on the side here in the nighttime has all that new features like dimming auto dimming and all that stuff it comes with 360 degrees cameras it has a camera in the front on the front grill right here actually it's not kind of a grill it's kind of a fake grill but super nice so anyway if you want to see more information about the exterior uh, and interior check out the other video the review guys on my channel now what i want to say is that the car have plenty of great quality for example these leather seats they are phenomenal they look gorgeous um, they are very similar with what you will find on audi some of them audi uh, premium cars great quality uh, you have side support they are awesome to be honest electric adjustment uh, also free position to save the seats uh, it comes also with this new head-up display from from Volkswagen Group, also the ID4 have it as well. Uh, I will also try to show you as we go in this video um, to make an idea about it. It's gorgeous, it's directly on the windshield and you have a great, great uh, visibility and resolution. The new digital cockpit, 
as you see it the steering wheel it's also awesome in leather great quality great grip also the controllers are here you can control different function very easy the cruise control it's here behind the steering wheel as on the audi you can control the tempo mat and cruise control and all that safety features also here in the middle under the center console you have some storage space here up you have this shift by wire transmission uh, it comes with an automatic cvt special transmission for electric cars electronic handbrake it comes with auto hold but in order to access the auto hold you have to go here in the vehicle and then you have to go in the settings vehicle settings and then from the brakes let me show you go to the brakes and then go down here and you, you will see auto hold you have to activate it deactivate from here and also you have some other interesting options here to to choose from anyway interesting interesting features here uh, also you have some physical button from where you can change different functions for example the driving mode from here you can change the different driving modes echo comfort normal and sport mode we will try it in this video also the car come with this amazing dcc dynamic chassis control the suspension and the responsiveness of the different driving modes are insane we will talk about that as well and then USB-C, plenty of storage space, you can charge your phone wireless, plenty of adjustments from the seats up, down, left, right, so uh, it's incredible. The visibility around the window is also very good, no complaining in terms of visibility, it's just phenomenal. Also, even the windshield come heated, you, can, you have heated windshield, heated steering wheel, heated seat. It's just crazy how many technologies are inside this car and also you have this beautiful glass roof that you can also open it up until here it's just perfect perfect anyway check out the review guys if you want to find out more information also plenty of soft material over the dash here and there almost everywhere it's just uh perfect anyway now guys let's drive the car and then we will talk as i drive i will give you more information about the car and also i hope you will find it useful so let's drive it guys all right guys let's drive the car by the way this is the key it's the new key also volkswagen use it on the newest cars on the market and it's super nice i love this glossy plastic it looks so fancy and it slides so easy in the pocket anyway come with keyless entrance you can lock and unlock the car by having your finger here put your hands right here and then you can unlock the car yes right now it's open um, and also you, the car come with electric folding mirrors going inside plenty of space here you go very easily inside also the quality of the doors it's it's very good also i like these handles here soft material almost everywhere where your hand it is even here in the middle console you have soft material and on the um, cockpit as well yeah as you see before the steering wheel this is one of my my favorite steering wheel from skoda it's super sporty it has this sporty design and, and shape and even down here with these little holes and grip it's just just super good quality a little bit of glossy plastic chrome design perfect visibility here also perfect in the mirrors around the windows and also it's a great visibility and you can connect and control this screen very easily it's a huge screen i think it's one of the most big screen in a car in an electric car I, of course tesla but other than tesla this is one of the biggest screen in, in an electric car and probably they want to somehow copy tesla and it's it's good and also it's very responsive the navigation and also you can go in every single uh, function super super simple by the way guys if you want to see the full review with this multimedia system i have a video special for this multimedia system and the cockpit and also if you want to see the full review interior exterior the space in the back there and all the other information check out the other video um with the review with ENIAC, I already have it on my channel. Now, all you have to do guys in this car when you go inside, the blind spot technology by the way is here on the mirror on the side, uh, it's a light, you can see it. You don't have to press the start engine uh, button that it's here, actually you can put the contact when you are not inside the car, but the key have to be here. But when you have the key with you in your pocket, all you have to do, go inside the car, press the brake, and the car it's ready to drive then all you have to do from this shift by wire transmission you go in reverse or you go in drive and then you're ready to drive same almost same as the tesla also the car come with 360 degrees camera you can see on the side you can see in the front you can see in the back also you can choose some functions and views here different views quite interesting 
and then when you go in drive you have two di different driving modes you have the drive normal drive and if you go one more time you have the b mode the b mode mean that when you drive the car when you take the foot off the acceleration the car will regenerate more energy back in the battery and yeah it will help you to not use the brake as much and you can anticipate the traffic and stuff like that I like to drive in D mode you have also those pedals here behind the steering wheel and you can see on the screen you have three different recuperation mode level 1, level 2, level 3 and you can choose from here which one you want and also you have kind of level 0 where the car is just rolling and I like that very much I like that you have this option to choose from then you have 400 you can see down there all kind of infos how much range the car have and something really important that I want to do before before we start driving it's going here to the to the data and I want to reset um, data here I think from here reset from start and we will see which kind of consumption we will have in the end you can see the car is stay on the same place and it has already 0 point, um, 0 0.3 kilowatt hour consumption because it used those electric stuff but we will leave it like that I want to test out the consumption we will start in, in D mode also if you go to the mode here you have a button you can go eco, eco comfort normal and sport depending on which mode you are the car will react accordingly also i noticed that the recuperation will change as well down there it will choose for you which recuperation um, the car use but we will start in echo and we will see uh, how the car is handling press the brake going in drive and then let's drive it silent 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 this is the sound of the future and also the car have a sound like electric cars like an alien car you know i don't know if you can hear it on the video but uh, it has this uh, strange sound that allow the other people around the car or animals that it's something that coming or it's something there you know uh, it's a safe feature and it's great for the city uh, I find it really useful but other than that incredible silent inside the car I noticed that on my other test drive as well it's very very silent here um, you cannot hear so many noise from outside right now I don't use any recuperation I just leave it rolling if I take the foot out it's the car it's rolling let's go in B mode right now and let's see how the B mode will react probably I'm curious if it's the same as level 3 also it's doing such a good job here on the roundabout it stay very good on the road it has great handlings it's heavy and with this DCC dynamic chassis control the car it's it's handling gorgeous so I really recommend you to go with DCC if you buy this ENIAC other than that it feels heavy it feels stick to the road it feels quite sporty even though we are in in um, echo mode and if I take the foot I can already feel that the car regenerate many 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 um, many electricity back in the battery and the thing interesting thing is that the feeling is the same as on my Tesla Model 3 when I'm driving in B mode and I take the foot yeah maybe a little bit less powerful I think it's a little bit more powerful in the Model 3 but this one it's it's quite good as well let's go in in D mode again now the car it's rolling this is something that Tesla Model 3 doesn't have it and I wish I wish to have it yeah it's just like that good and now it's rolling and I like this rolling thing I think you save much more energy when the car is rolling I like that also from here from pedals you can choose one two three and right now it's recuperate more I like those pedals to play with uh, and to change different level of recuperation also the car come with lane assist from here behind the steering wheel uh, you can choose the distance from you and the car in front you can set from here super simple from behind the steering wheel uh, for example I set up the speed right now to 70 and then the car will keep the distance uh, will keep the speed uh, will keep yeah 
and you can see the ambient light inside this tunnel it looks really beautiful really beautiful here uh, on the dash on the doors there you have around 13 or, or 16 colors if I remember well to choose from to have this ambient light inside the car and it's it's super nice Also, you can activate this travel assist. They call it travel assist. It's something like autopilot level two in Tesla and the car will keep the, the speed, will keep the distance, will keep the lane. You can see right now, stay between the lane and say, put your hands on the steering wheel. I will have it here for safety reason. Uh, but you can see the car, it's actually um, doing a great job staying between those lanes, even though we are not on the highway. Uh, this is a great feature and a great option on the highway. So Volkswagen Group improved a lot of these features and now it's much better than it was years before. So look at this. And also the car is telling me that comes a roundabout ahead of me. Even though I don't activate the, the navigation, it still say and he still know that it's a roundabout. And actually it's brake for me. Look at this. Wow. Something that Tesla doesn't do that. Okay. And I have to take control now. Wow. I like that. I like those features. Uh, those features are really interesting. Wow. So this travel assist, the new one from, from Volkswagen, it's, it's really nice. I like it to be honest. And also you activate it from here, from the steering wheel. You just have to press it once. And also it sees that you have a car in front right there. And right now the car it's it's holding the the distance now we are still in echo mode uh we will see the consumption also at the end of this video i'm really curious about that take over the steering wheel it's worn you from 10 seconds i think it doesn't let you more than 10 seconds maybe to to drive on the autopilot actually if you hold the hands on the steering wheel just relaxing right now it's braking for me it's kind of a safety feature and then it's it's going forward automatic it's really interesting i like that take over the steering wheel okay tell me one time second time with red and then we will uh, beep up for me but really good this travel assist i also tested on other uh, volkswagen group cars and skoda cars and it's worked really good also on the id4 uh, the same story and then it's super simple from here you go to 80 go up up two times and then now 80 super simple to use two times and then the car it's going also it comes with heated steering wheel heated seat a lot of great features and it's it's doing such a good job this travel assist and on the highway it's it's not such a big difference nowadays between tesla's one and this one when it comes to to a highway and and it's doing such a good job i like it i like it so great job volkswagen then if you go in comfort mode everything is changing right now let's take the control of the car um, now in the comfort mode the suspension will be even more uh, softer and also the steering wheel a little bit more uh, easier because of this uh, dynamic chassis control DCC uh, the car the suspension are adapting to the driving mode and they will give you the best experience depending which mode you want to drive also the car can read different traffic signs and, and speed limits uh, for example the car can read uh, the speed limit so we know here it's around uh, 80 the speed and also we can read sometimes some kind of traffic uh, signs here it's kind of a private road so we can try the acceleration in sport mode let's go in sport mode brake <laughs> in sport mode level two recuperation and then accelerate it's a rear wheel drive guys rear 180 horsepower 310 newton meters and it's great and the brakes are great wow impressive impressive around seven point um, nine seconds zero to 100 but the car keep in mind it's limited guys to the car it's limited to 160 kilometer and yeah something that some people doesn't like but I like that 
I mean, you don't need to drive more than 116 kilometer, even on the highway. Now, again, another acceleration. All right, you can feel a little bit of, of torque. It's fun, it's fun to drive. It feels a little bit heavy, like an SUV is normal. Um, it is an SUV, but still pretty, pretty uh, aggressive and nice. And also the steering wheel right now, it's even more uh, stiffer, so you can feel that the, the steering wheel is stiffer and um, yeah, it's, it's nice. To be honest, it's, it's really nice. It's a proper electric feeling when you drive this car. And we have the consumption until now. It's 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 17.6 kilowatt hour. Seven, so not bad for such a big and heavy car. It's a great consumption, and we made that to acceleration, kind of free. And if we drive back a little bit more economical, so if we go to driving mode and we free choice in sport mode, as I said, the steering wheel it's more stiffer, suspension also a little bit more stiffer, not too much. Uh, it's still very comfortable uh, You have a high driving position. So you see perfectly from from this angle to be honest here It's great 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 the view. It's great here. You have great visibility uh, Also, the seats have plenty of adjustments. You can adjust the seats in many many ways But if you go to to normal mode, it's kind of a combination between all but comfort mode is my favorite mode at least in electric cars where the car will give you the best um, the best comfort and even though on the acceleration if you for example want to use the acceleration comfort mode it still give you that power um, almost that power that you have it in uh, in a sport mode anyway if you drive on the speed limit with this car um, it will give you some phenomenal consumptions and also you have this travel assist cruise control tempo mat that I really recommend you to get it if you buy a Volkswagen group car these days it's really good one it's, it's a good one it has those safety features like emergency brake lane assist and and it's, it's splendid okay let's go to eco mode I'm curious let's let's try to make a great economy until the end of the trip right now 80.1 I still accelerate a little bit there um, but let me let me take the control because I can get better consumption and right now I take off completely the recuperation I'm in D mode and then I let I leave the car rolling in this way when the car is rolling right now you can use the pedals to regenerate to brake I use the pedals level 3 level 3 anticipate the traffic a little bit okay I can go in I can go out splendid accelerate slowly take off the the recuperation okay all right this guy in front of me is driving really slow uh, that helped me somehow <laughs> to get the better consumption but I still want to drive also some kind of uh, realistic and you can see now the car can read those signs those construction signs and you can see on the I don't know if you can see it on the head-up display or here on the cockpit it will show you a sign with uh, with uh, construction so interesting very interesting something that Tesla for example doesn't do that um, yeah I don't know why but it doesn't do it so nice also the sound insulation in the car it's it's beautiful it's gorgeous check this out huge trucks plenty of cars here i don't hear anything inside the car it's very good insulation very good very good it's a proper proper um high premium car also the ambient light inside the car it's gorgeous this screen the cockpit in the night time the lights guys it's wow i mean these led lights are phenomenal Phenomenal. Silent. This is the future. And you can save plenty, plenty of, of money if you're driving electric these days. You don't have to 
to always um, somehow pay for the gas when you have the, the possibility to have this um, to charge it at home some places give you for free charging for example Ikea if you go to Ikea here um, yeah you go in the parking place and then you charge the car for free you make your shopping it's, it's great also very good visibility on the mirrors very good visibility um, in the front there Very good control over the, the curves, the handling is quite good. It's not bad, not bad at all. Now you can see on the on the uh, on the cockpit and also on the head-up display it will show you that in front of me will be a roundabout so I can slow down a little bit and prepare for it. This is really good. Uh, good feature to warn you that that's coming around about it's it's perfect it's a great job Skoda I love the car and even here in the roundabout uh, it's doing a great job even though it's a big car it stay really well on the road good quality almost everywhere uh, everywhere you touch everywhere you see inside the car it, it is a premium car I don't know nowadays you don't know which car to buy because the, almost all the car manufacturer they make such a good cars and it's incredible hard to choice a car these days it comes with auto hold as well um, but you have to activate it from from the screen here we are almost uh, at the end of the the trip and we have 60.6 um, liter consumption it's a pretty good consumption for a big SUV like that also here I want to go slow down all right 60.7 kilowatt hour pretty good very good very very good consumption for a big SUV like this and in the way I drive of course on the highway you can expect a little bit higher consumptions but um, yeah in, in I think on average combined consumption it's it's very good and over the bumps is doing such a good job so it's 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 gorgeous over the bumps it is um, gorgeous okay let's park it here it is a big car indeed so with the parking space sometimes it will be tight but because you have these 360 degrees cameras it is just fantastically easy to park it put the electronic handbrake press the brake and then the car it's it's stopped you see before the consumption 60.6 you can see right here pretty good consumption I like it it's it's really good car it's really good car and still stay my favorite this is my favorite I don't know why uh, is the same mechanical platform as the Volkswagen ID4 but the shape of this uh, ENIAC IV it's much nicer it's much more aggressive and much more I don't know I like it more and also even here inside the car I like it more I like those seats uh, from Audi because they look the same as on the Audi ones and they are big they are nice uh, it's a nice position here you have this glass roof you have this plenty of space look at this how much space I mean I have a huge space in this car you can adjust these seats in many ways even the rims um, are beautiful and the space and I like it I like the car beautiful guys I hope you find it useful I hope you like the video just don't forget to subscribe check out on my channel it's already there the review with this ENIAC IV the multimedia system review with this ENIAC IV uh, I also have a video on how to connect Android Auto with this multimedia system check out on my channel also guys I leave the link to the car in the description if you want to check it out if you're in Switzerland at Gauchi Garage here uh, check out the price test drive it uh, call them and ask them about the car if you want to buy it 
uh, they will help you with pleasure if you want to find out more information about the car and car auto industry check out our website sdadancar.com there you find all kind of articles about the car and auto industry and guys uh, thank you very much for watching as always stay safe and see you soon in the next one bye guys